Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, reports are going out to Sean Porter and Spar David Benavides in preparation for his upcoming showdown with Errol Spence on September the 28th. Now, I find that very interesting because Sean Porter is at at best maybe five six and David Benavides is a legitimate six feet two I've stood next to David Benavides I've uh, spoke to him matter of fact David Benavides is one of my favorite you know guys I like to interview David Benavides real good dude as I said before never denied me an interview always giving me an interview when I've requested it so shout out to David Benavides good luck you know versus Anthony Durrell now with that being said that's very interesting that Sean Porter sparred with David Benavides you know David Benavides has got a extreme height advantage reach advantage more than likely strength so they're saying Sean Porter did well against him so does that mean Sean Porter is gonna go the Mike Tyson route which means Sean Porter plans on fighting Errol Spence throughout the fight on the on the inside. Well, you know what that means. This ain't gonna be what you call a boxing match. Here, what's gonna happen is Sean is gonna convert into uh, Herschel Walker, and he's just gonna try to go down, tuck his chin, and try to dig and go low, try to hit, go underneath Errol Spence's punches. He gonna try to get underneath his jab. Which that is that's a good strategy, you know, when you fight taller fighters. Mike Tyson was brilliant at that, you know, at fighting taller fighters. Go underneath them, had good head movement, attack the body. You know, so I'm just telling you now, this may not be a, a fan friendly fight if that's what it looks like Sean Porter is preparing to do. So I'm just telling you. But at the end of the day, I still have Errol Spence prevailing. And I think Errol Spence is working on that too. More than likely, um, you know, Errol Spence is a, a smart fighter. He prepares for certain things, so he has a great ring IQ. But this is gonna be a very physical fight. And as I said before, this may be a fight that right after it happens we forget about it what i'm saying is this may be a fight we ain't gonna be even talking about after the fight happens i mean ba basically post fight maybe one day and then we move on to the next but i could be wrong we'll see anyway this your boy town biz i'm out